The XPED SYNMAT UL keeps getting better. With the lightweight construction, included pump bag for easy inflation with the flat valve technology, the baffled air channels and the synthetic insulation, you've got a perfect option for backpacking in chilly temperatures. Let's take a closer look. I like the SYNMAT because it's easy to use and with all of the different technologies, it's easy to see why this is a fan favorite for all around backpacking. The synthetic insulation inside these air channels achieves an R value of 3.3. So while it's not meant for the coldest of temperatures, it's going to do well pretty much all year round. In a pinch, you can pair it with a closed cell foam mat like this one to have a higher R value, but this is gonna get you through most of the year. Now, the synthetic insulation isn't just loose inside the air channels. It actually is laminated to the top and to the bottom of the baffles here, so that when you inflate the pad, it actually puffs up that insulation so you get the maximum thermal efficiency from the cold ground. When it's fully inflated, you get about 2.8 inches of thickness, and that's great for a side sleeper like me. Your shoulders and your hips aren't digging into the ground, so it really keeps you afloat. While you can inflate this by mouth, XPED actually includes this lightweight schnozzle pump bag. Instead of having to huff and puff to blow up the sleeping pad, you just use this pump bag to inflate it. Something like this has been a lifesaver for me, especially when I'm camping up high and I'm short of breath anyway. The last thing I wanna do after a long day of hiking is have to inflate the sleeping pad by mouth. This actually is waterproof, so you can use this as a stuff sack, pack your sleeping bag down in there to compress it. And you also aren't introducing the moist air from your breath when you use this stuff sack. The long vertical air beams here are really stable, and you'll find that the two beams on the outer edges here are actually slightly thicker than on the center of the pad. That, coupled with the anti-slip grip skin coating on the top, ensures that you stay situated on the center of your pad. This comes in handy if you find yourself camping on a slightly uneven surface, that grip skin coating will keep the fabrics of your sleeping bag kind of stuck to the pad. You'll be cradled on the inside of the pad and you won't find yourself slowly slipping off of that pad throughout the night. A common failing point on some inflatable sleeping pads is the valve. But XPED has found a way to eliminate those stiff edges that are around a sleeping pad's valves. They actually have these flat valves that are circular and they're incredibly durable. So they're gonna last the lifetime of the pad. And here you can see an inflate valve and a deflate valve. They're incredibly easy to use. If I open the inflate valve, it's a one-way valve. So as you push air into it, if you need to take a break, the air doesn't immediately come back out, which is really handy. Now, if you want to just leak a little bit of the air out of it, if you've inflated it too much, you can actually push on that slightly and it lets a little bit of air out at a time. This pairs really easily with the included schnozzle pump bag. So all you need to do is take the end of the schnozzle here, clip it right to this inflate valve, and then inflate the pad using this pump sack. When you're ready to deflate the pad after a great night's sleep, this deflate valve is really simple. You just pop that open and the air literally rushes out of it. So that's great in the morning when you're trying to pack up camp really quickly. All you have to do is push the air out of that pad and it comes out really easily. Some valves that I've seen with air pads like this take a lot of effort to push that out but it's really simple with the deflate and the inflate valves here. Once all the air is let out, it's really easy to pack down. This is the included stuff sack for the medium size. Certainly a backpacking option. I would throw this right inside my pack. This comes in four different sizes. If you like to sprawl out, spring for the long wide size. But if saving weight and space is your highest goal, go for the smallest size in the line. Now the specs vary per size, so check out our product page for all the details. 
you're looking for a sleeping pad that's going to do it all from camping to backpacking over many different seasons, check out the Xped Sinmat UL. Thanks for watching. If you have additional questions about the gear you just saw, please feel free to visit backcountryedge.com and get in touch with me or one of our other gear specialists. We also have technical specs about that gear on the product pages of our website, and oftentimes we have bonus videos. If you like our channel, please subscribe.